back to the channel, it's me, Farmer Henry Stream, and here we are back on Silver and Forest for episode 4. And money has slightly changed, so what I'm going to do now is show some clips of us doing some contracts in the in between episodes, and then we'll resume from there. did find a collectible on our way to the sawmill with one load of timber that we load up. We've got one load of timber here on, oh that looks a bit sketchy there, up on the TLX and got another full tray load over here and we are waiting on to load up the container because as I said in the last episode we are going to aim to get most of the equipment that we want by the end of the year because at the end of the year come new year we won't be releasing any more pieces of equipment so and uh, the best price at the moment for a lot of these items is that fine enough at the sawmill down here actually the best price is fine enough is the containers oh, oh that's very sketchy so I'm not too sure how much we're going to get from this, so... But the goal of this episode today is really start to provide the materials to the Roku so we've got everything we need for the first stage or two. Well, for the first step in the stage. So we'll go over here, and then if we go to, no not you, you can see we have these a like, couple of little bits here and there between camera like, between episodes, sorry. Just get ourselves some stuff, like some little dollies just to get things done and that, just to do bits here and there between episodes, get things set up, get things ready. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of subs around, and we need to get rid of those as well, because... Yeah, also, at the end of the year, like, in the next episode, perhaps, I do want to... Yeah, I really want to just get rid of some and clear this area up a bit. What exactly are we going to use this area for? I'm not too sure as of yet. Couple of options for us, possibly, but yeah. At the very least, what we're gonna do at the end of the year is replant a lot of the trees. I uh, will require leasing some equipment like the excavator with the tree planter attachment for the boom. That would be the only other piece of equipment we will lease, I think, in the near future. Besides from that. Not much else. So we are doing a bit sticky 
crossing here. I need to be careful because there is a train incoming. We can just about avoid the train. And there goes the timber. So in total, 73 grand. Not too bad for that, I don't think. So it was detached to you from the moment. And you as well. Because uh, this Volvo wheel loader that we're releasing. Absolutely filthy as hell. And it is yeah, four hours almost off at least in time. There are some bits of timber dotted around. Again, we'll get all this cleared up in that, but that is not the greatest priority at the moment. These little bits of timber, these are not suitable for the container, so we will just shove them around here. But yeah, so hopefully everyone's enjoying the series so far. In terms of with what other series I'm going to do, I'm not too sure. I'll show them, but I'll resume that. Oh, I think this is a fun series, but I may return to that, I may not. Survivor Challenge, well, yeah, more Survivor Challenge rather than Survivor Roleplay on No Man's Land. I will be resuming that because I do love it, the whole survival aspects of doing that survival challenge. We are actually progressing quite well on that series, funny enough. Or at least we were, so let's go and. Yeah, just. Let's get a lot, a lot of these shoved away. And most of them may have one or two pieces of not the correct timber, that's fine. As long as the vast majority is correct. Yeah. Come on, go in. Go in. So we've got some timber over here, we've got some timber over there as well. So yeah, we're just going to continue on with this, and I'll see you folks in a short moment. This should not take too long for us to complete. Hand me down for the count. I was on nine, nine all the time Shattered soul, you took control But now I'm gone, bye, bye, bring the fire You took something beautiful and made it something cool It's all that I get from you You're so delusional, now watch me take control So hopefully it doesn't impact us too much. 
Oh no, it does not. A hundred and sixty-six grand. That is more like it, I think. And also, for what's sake, this trader is actually ours, because the old timber trader that we had that really didn't auto shuffle, stack, whatever what I thought it was going to do, I sold that for about 40 grand, bought this for about 57 ish grand, so. Yeah, happy days there for me. And since we're over here, let's finally. Well, getting stuck. Start supply sawmill. Not sawmill, I uh, need a road coaster, so we've got all the materials we need. Prefab walls, it doesn't need later on, but I'm still hopeful it accepts it. So yeah, we've got six prefab walls, we've got eight, eleven ish, for these wood beams. Yeah, eleven thousand of these wood beams, so. Hopefully it takes all this now. Nope, and it's gonna fall over. Didn't do this the last time, but oh well. This is what it is. So there we go. Just get you shuffled on. One load of beams out, another eight to go, and everything else on the top. But yeah, so in theory, I think you will accept the prefab walls because it is required. Yes, it's that a later step. And what I'll do once we've delivered these, if it accepts it at the road coaster, I won't send any more down because I don't know exactly how much it needs in total. So, how much it needs later on down the road. Like, does it need 6,000 litres or whatever? I'm not too sure, so. So, in the future, we've any more prefab walls. Ooh, that's a bit. Can I put you across? Just. No, 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 no. Do not tip on me, boy. Don't tip on me. Very much. So yeah, I think uh, yeah we'll go to the other side. I think rather than mess around with shuffling it across. Yeah, I know why he's doing it because I was just hitting it awkwardly on. Okay, did not expect that. She did not like that at all. And there's been news going off. Come on. There we go. Go over. Thank you all. Great demand at the container warehouse. Initially we just missed a great man before, it was like 3700, now it's 4800, man, that is, you know what, we'll do that as well I think, let's get, um, oh come on, really, you're up there, Things don't always go to plan, but yeah, that great demand, literally. It could have happened a little bit earlier, we got a bit of an extra bonus, but... What, let's go, let's go meet that great demand. Well, as of course, come for, for a few more trees down. I think we're just, money-wise, we're just at the point now where we could afford just about the wheel loader. Because how much is the wheel loader? Also need another hundred-ish grand for that. 
so yeah, a couple of bits and bobs. We do get a tractor. And there is a nice large GCB fast track. 340 horsepower, that is just within the ballpark we need. So things like a front loader now don't really need, I don't think. Oh, this is going to be so sketchy with this. So hopefully it doesn't get all skits on me, please. So yeah, you know what, I'll continue on getting this all done. Not too sure what I'm going to do about that wood beam that's on the roof now. Don't think we're able to recover it, but these prefab walls... Not sure if they can stack. If they do, perhaps maybe a bit um, sketchier, so I don't think we'll stack these, but yeah. So I'll continue on with this, and I'll see you folks back down at the road coaster, I think. Slowly trembling down, and we're just going to stop here for the moment because we need some floor tiles. So, undo those straps. But yeah, we are literally running out of spaces where to put stuff. But yeah, so I just want to think I'll just zoom up and then. Excuse me, sir. Do you mind? Clearly, no, he does not mind. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, just ignore that. Just ignore the phasing. Yeah, these aren't listable, so yeah, with the listable pack mods, you can't lift any of these new materials until Yoss has a it. I'm sure he's on case ready. There we go. So next we'll go and... Yeah, because we can get this on, you get the metal on, then you get the staircase rings on. And that's pretty much the first step off. Yeah, pretty much the first step done. Material and no me as soon as I go and put this fork on underneath. So that's no tip. No, it does not. Fair enough. Collision, behave. There we go. And all that's going to tip. Quickly. Hey, there we go. So that is the first lot done. And you know what? I think I should do a quick little quick time lapse here again if you picked up. And then I will see you folks at the road coaster. Get out of time. Now you're gonna learn what it's like to lose You took something beautiful and made it something cruel It's all that I get from you You're so delusional, now watch me take control
got all the materials we need to supply the Royal Coaster. With except everything from the prefab walls, I have absolutely no idea. Oh, that money jumped up quite a bit. 186 grand. Plus another 60 grand on top. Uh, that is quite a bit of cash, that is. It's absolutely maxed out on everything. So, what should we do for this for now? Could perhaps go and sell some, some of this, like the metal. Let's just see what needs what is needed at the boatyard. Sure something is needed. Beams or something that I know Melon needs. But yeah, that is oh, 240 grand. I did not expect that. So I say things like the prefab walls doesn't need. I got interrupted by a thing called Erev. Not sure what was I saying? Like, sure, it needs some of this, like metal it needs, but also, but I realised with the boat yard, it needs fabric. So I need some materials from sheep. So we need to get a sheep pasture at some point. But yeah, I am absolutely surprised by that and happy as well. So yeah, these are like long planks. Actually, long planks. I think long planks, what we can do is deliver those to the flooring factory. Yeah, because we'll keep them in long planks, we'll set it to store, and then we can always shift them down there to the floor and tile. Because when we had it on distribution, of course, they send most of it to the wood turner. But, yeah, so. Honestly, it doesn't need a lot, I mean, really like a thousand litres, so. I mean, we didn't get much money from what we've got because we are going to sell the rest of this by a little trick apparently not sure if this will work or if it does work it involves selling that elm creek I think what we'll do is first of all just give you a scoopy boop out of the way Oh, for some reason it's not letting me take the long planks here. You know what? That is fine. Squeeze away through. But yeah, apparently the trick is with the whole Elm Creek, it's... When you sell on the train to Elm Creek, obviously you go to train, reverse it, or drive forward to the cell point for Elm Creek. However... As this year, as I'm recording this episode, as I want to do, do like my time lapse is, I go watch other YouTubers. Funny enough, actually, uh, one or other sort of heard about this trick or something from Dagwin series a couple of days, well, a day or two ago, I think. Yeah, a couple, a couple of days ago last week or something it was. But also, currently watching this episode of Mr. CP's Let's Play series on his very map, episode 6, he's on at the moment, and. Yeah, apparently this does work, so... Providing we don't get absolutely hammered... ...by an incoming train, go flying... So apparently go 
up to here. I have not tried, I'm literally trying this now, but oh, the game doesn't want to try to stop us out every way, stop us from what well, it is. It's not it's cheating away because it's you're cheating the cell point as not we're supposed to. Good thing nothing's accepted here. So apparently the trick is try as far as north as possible. And yep, that's the trick. You sort of just turn left. So yeah, it's another for just randomly just another fruit is just so grand, so that whole plan of us being Oh, that was good just time as well. Um, do we still have the great demand in? I'm pretty sure I've still got the great demand. Ah, uh, for what's it? Wood at uh, the container. So go to prices, wood, great demand, yep. On uh, the commot suit that needs a service desperately. But your yeah, finances just so like in November, eighty two grand new vehicles sold and that yada yada yada. Running costs three and a half grand ish. Leasing that's the thing, leasing we're spending tens of thousands here. Ignore August there, just ignore that month. But things like me, two hundred three grand 234 grand for selling wood, 302 grand from products, 92 grand from contracts, and apparently 47 grand from miscellaneous stuff, which I'm not too sure on what that is. So, yeah, actually, I didn't really actually have a proper look. So, in storage, it's got planks. So yeah, it's got it's got metal, it's got floor tiles, got planks. Planks more enough. Floor tiles needs a bit more metal. It's got enough. But it also things like wood beams. It so these wood beams, long planks, and a bit more floor tiling for the roller coaster. That. It's got everything it needs for now. Also, it does need another pallet of staircase ring actually before it goes to the next step. But everything else, metal, yep. So, we're not too far away from staircase railing, so. Yeah, so good there. So yeah, I think what we do now is to round off the episode here. Should we go look at the containers? We'll get the containers up. But I think we'll start having this up. Yeah, I think actually last ten minutes of the episode, depending on how long this goes for now. I find that in it doesn't feel it's been a long episode, but yeah, so we go to the farming now, because I do want to start expanding the farmyard itself. But yeah, 631 grand. That is... Oh, that was shocking, that was, but hey. So, yeah. Happen to you. We could look like a new tractor now. Now 
No, 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 not gonna do anything yet. Obviously, I'll buy a new container, so. Go yoink. 40 footer. Should just shuff itself. There we go. But yeah, it's just like what we want to do over here in this area. I'm not too short. For sure, it needs replanting because, yeah, in total so far, we've cut down just over uh, 250 trees, I think. Something like that. 251 trees we've cut down, so yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. But yeah, in terms of like the big 12 meter trees, okay, we'll need to start stabbing over here, but but yeah, just so many of these little 50 trees. Yeah, I'm just thinking of what we could do. Perhaps get a devour. Get a bit of wood chips, perhaps sell some wood chips, but yeah, a lot of it's just like these trees get sold or get rid of. Even these not that one. That's actually still quite good actually. Still in the five meter trees, like these ones here, I think. No, nope, that's them. I see they're 0.6 meters, they're good for some bits, but not good for the containers, unfortunately, but we'll cross that road when we get there, so. Actually, why is there timber here? I'm not too sure. Yeah, I find that unusual while you've got a bit of wood there, but... Actually, you know what? With everything, let's go and return everything. Yeah, I think it's time. Not quite you just yet. Yeah, you. Yeah, we'll keep this for now. Uh, do we own a trailer? No, we own those. Oh yeah, we own these. It's just the login trails and that we don't own. So yeah, happy with that. Yeah, no, I should bear with me a sec. Let me get my bearing straight because I'm sort of, again, they're thinking of what I want to do. So give me a couple of minutes. Well, for you lot, a couple of seconds. And I'll see you back once I come up with a plan here. So, yeah, I've had a thought, and I think, especially in the next episode, we'll just go and really just get things tidy up buy some equipment and of course sell some timber because we have got a bit started on here and I forgot there were some pieces of timber up here or previously from like the first episode or so so we got some 12 meter logs and some 6 meter logs so where did I put I did put a nice 6 meter log somewhere over here is that your well, you are six meters, but you're too heavy. You're 9.6. You're 
Oh, our, tr our truce fees in and out. 6.1 meters, that's good for me. Because they will go into 6 week containers. I'm not sure what the leeway is. I think it's like 0 0.5, 0 0.4 or 0.5 meters either way, and it will be fine going in. No nope, wrong power for you. Hey, come here. You don't belong there, you belong over here in the little rubbish pile. But yeah, I did have a nice six meter log to chop this up. Is that you there? Yeah, that is 6.1 meters. We'll swing you around. So yeah, I think, yeah, it's just really, next episode or two, just tie things up, get things on the way. So we'll go to paint in a sec, just so I can actually see what I'm actually doing here. That's better. So we'll chop you down. We should get four nice pieces because this was a 24.5 ish meter log. So that's bang on aligned. Six point one again. And there we go. So that is perfect six mirror logs. We're going and get it all picked up in the next episodes because because yeah, the Volvo will do us three hundred grand terms with the truck. I am half tempted to go with. Just we, yes, we could go Volvo, and I think actually we will go with this one, the FH16 Glue Trotter. So there's different configurations we go with. So that's going to be 217 grand. Eight times four tag, eight times four push. I think I need to something like six by four. Oh yeah, we're gonna need those. So all in all we're looking at two hundred and thirty nine ish grand for everything, so we are still gonna need a lot more money to get everything we need, including the tractor. At the moment there's only the J C B fast track. I say, do you want a large structure that's got a front loader? Because, no, not really. Because it's really, if I had to pick a tractor to go for, it'd be something like this the John Deere 9X 30T, bargaining price 175 grand. And that's for 425 horsepower. Go all the way up to 530. Go wide tracks with weights. 1.2 ton weight. See, all we're looking at 200 grand there, so 
two, four, seven hundred ish. So it works about eight hundred, nine hundred grand until for everything we need. Because also, I think actually I do want is get a piece of land. Not sure if you want farmland 41 or 42. Just so that things like we can get sheep on the way. Cause I'm not sure if I got any modded animal pens in. I don't think so. Again, we don't need a large pen. But if we go down here. So even like the normal one for 51 grand would be fine in terms of Yeah, don't need a large amounts of sheep. Downside over here it is heavily fenced off. We could go somewhere over here where it's closer to the tree line. Perhaps I'm not. Ken, it's one of those things. Not too sure. But if we do, if we say we put something like as far as over here as we can, then we could use this as a grass field. I think we will potentially would plow it up and then create our own grass field. I see. I'm not too sure. A couple of options for us to go over here. But anyways, on that note, that is where we're going to end the episode here. Also, I had done a little quick cheeky service the harvester. And I did sell the tractor, so that's why the money's gone up as well, for God's sake. Because, <laughs> yeah, that Volvo is a nice piece of equipment to have. Oh, we're struggling to get this piece of log. And this is going to be our couple of problems we're going to be facing very soon. It's just getting things aligned up. Again, still trying to go over there for some reason. Oh, don't take us over. Please. But yeah, that is where we're going to end the episode here. So yeah, next time we'll get all this timber up into the relative containers. Yeah, let's go for another cut and travel about me to the left. But yeah, I am really excited on where this is going to go from here. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the watching. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. Subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider. But, if I choose to do, hope everyone has a nice day. But for now, this will be part of my vlog stream, and I'll see you all very soon.